up everyone? So this project was quite a challenge creatively from an engineering standpoint, but I'm so happy with the way that it turned out and I'm really excited for you guys to be able to build this yourself. I will talk about the convoluted creative process that led to this project in the next video. For now, this video talks about how to build this so you can have your own JiveBot at home. Let's get right into it. I'm Jay, this is JBV Creative. Let's create. So there are a lot of parts here, but I've set up the download file so you only need to print one of each of the files in the downloads and you will get everything that you see on this table. The only thing to keep in mind is there are two versions of this piece. The first one is the wall mounted version where you need this stand. The second one is the desk mounted version where you need this stand. Just keep that in mind when you're laying things out because you don't need both of these. I'm gonna show you how to build the wall mounted version, but everything can be repeated for the desk mounted version, it's all the same. The first thing we're gonna do is assemble the wall mount. Step one is to grab this medium gear with the small gear in the middle, and that goes onto the middle post on the wall mount. The next step is to grab this big gear with this post sticking out of it. That goes onto the post with this larger flange sticking out of that. And you can put a C-clamp on that to keep it in place. Keep in mind, two of the C-clamps are a little bit beefier than the others. Just make sure that you're not using the beefy C-clamps on this part. The next thing we're gonna do is assemble the crank. So grab your crank knob and put that into the smaller end of the crank and throw a C-clamp on that. Sweet. Now grab the bevel gear with the hex in the back side of it. That pops onto the middle gear and you should be able to press it right down you can put your wall mount to the side for now, we're gonna come back to it. So grab your robot body and you need your robot mount. Find the two shorter shafts and those go into the holes in the bottom of this mount and make sure that there's a little bit of a section sticking out from the mount, that's facing the bottom of the robot. So let's start by putting one of the shorter shafts into the front hole, the hole like where the point is, and then grab one of those beefy C-clamps, this is where we need them, and now you're gonna have to slide into the pocket in the bottom of the robot and C-clamp it to the end of that shaft. And this is a little bit tricky, but I have faith in you, you can do it. Now repeat that with the other shorter shaft in the next hole. Slide it in, beefy C-clamp, pop it on. Perfect. So now it's time to start assembling the treads. So grab your tread pieces and if they're a little bit stiff, you might need to just kind of work them in. So just break them up a little bit and make sure each link in the tread is pivoting. Repeat that with the other one. Sweet. Now you can put those to the side for a minute. We're gonna come back to those. So now grab your, the spur gear with the flange sticking out of it. That's gonna go into this slot in the back of the robot and make sure that the gear is on the, the side with the smaller or the thinner tab. You're gonna grab one of these hex shafts and that slides in through the side of the robot body through the gear. So grab your sprockets and you'll notice that one of them has a smaller flange sticking out of that. That goes into the side of the robot with the smaller tab and that will press up right against that gear on the inside. Then grab another sprocket and put that on the other side of the shaft and then use a couple of C-clamps to hold that in place, one on each side. Now repeat that with the other sprockets on the front of the body, C-clamp that into place. Now you can throw your treads on, so wrap it over the top of the sprockets and around, and then you can snap it together in the middle on the bottom, and then repeat that on the other side. So at this point, give it some spins and try to loosen it up a little bit. And if it's feeling a little tight, the more spins you give it, the more it will loosen up. But another trick is to throw a little WD-40 on it, and that will really, really help and getting it to spin smoothly. So the next thing we're gonna do is assemble the back, the backpack. So grab this shaft, it's a hex round, hex round shaft. And that's going to go through this small gear. So make sure when you look at this gear, there's a couple little notches on two of the teeth. And it's a little hard to see, but if you look closely, you'll find it. So make sure that you're putting this through the side with the notches and just pop that into place. Now grab your rack and this rack holder and slide that rack in 
from this side. So you want the hole to be on the right and you're sliding this in on the left, just like that. Now you can grab your gear and those two notches that I mentioned before, when you pop it into this rack holder, there's a little dot on the rack and you need to make sure that the two notches go on either side of the tooth with the dot on it. Now grab your double slot and that's gonna line up with those notches. One, one of these slots is gonna line up with the two notches on that gear You pop it into place. Now grab these two small gear racks and there's two arrows on them. Those face up and you slide that into the two slots in the top of the robot body. Lay your robot on its front and grab your backpack assembly and that will slot into this hole on the back of the robot and make sure that these two slots line up with the two knobs on those gear racks. You can pop the big C clamp into the end of that shaft to hold it all into place. And now we can throw our arms in. So to get the arms in the right position, line up your slots horizontally and then you can pop the arms in. So the key is to make sure that the arms are even and in this position when this slot piece is horizontal. So once you got that in that position, grab some C-clamps and through the top of the robot, you can pop them onto the end of the shaft that will hold the arms into place. Boom, just like that. And now you can give it some twists, see if the robot's driving. Looks like my robot is driving, which is awesome. So we can move on to the next step. So you have one of these shafts remaining. That goes through the remaining bevel gear. So pop that into place. And then that will go into this hole on the robot mount. Just slide it in, make sure it lines up, and then you can pop a C-clamp on the end of that. Boom. At this point, we should just test to make sure everything's working before we mount it to the wall. So grab your base, spin the gear until the hole on the big gear on the top lines up with the hole in the base. You can slide your robot and assembly onto the pins that are part of the wall mount. So just line them up, pop it on, and then make sure you get this popped on. And you should end up in this position with the left arm up and the right arm down. And that's how you know it's right. And if you wanna test it, you can throw your crank on, hold everything together and just give it some cranks and make sure the arms are moving evenly on both sides. Looks like they are for me. So now it's time to pop this on the wall. But before we do that, let's give this robot a head. So grab your head, slide it in, front end first, and then just pop it in. Look at that, happy robot. Okay, let's go put this on the wall. So I pre-drilled a couple of holes to mount this to. You don't really need to worry about wall plugs or anything. This isn't heavy enough that it's gonna require any drywall plugs or anything like that. I'm screwing mine right into the drywall and it's actually completely fine. So I pre-drilled the holes. You're gonna have to line up the hole in the big gear with the hole in the base to make sure you can get that top screw in. Once you do, just line everything up, grab whatever screws you have and just screw it into place. Now, once you have that bottom screw in, you can pop your crank on and then C-clamp that into place. Make sure everything's spinning. Now grab your robot, pop that onto the wall mount. Make sure you line up the rack with the pin on the gear. And once everything is in place, throw the C-clamps on the two pins on either side of the base, and there's one to hold the rack to the pin on the gear. And there you go. The Jive Bot. This is one of my favorite pieces that I've made so far. It was totally worth the struggle. And if you're interested in seeing the video that talks about the weird, convoluted, completely non-linear creative process that it took to get here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.